Okay, so last but not least, do you know the idea of pragmatics, semiotics, semantics, rhetorics, meta rhetorics, how the masters of the language may manipulate language in order to achieve certain aims, to persuade, as in the payful, as in the necessity of disciplined communication? Well, perhaps in my self defense, I'm trying to communicate a certain thing because I'm trying to communicate honestly. That when you have a large amount of knowledge, life's experience derived from multiple worlds, derived from your own thoughts and your own critical thinking skills, you process this information in order to create science, metaphysics, art, philosophy, all that. Now, if you have a broad, capable, understanding mind, you may use certain symbols that trigger fundamental ideas. You may use certain scripts and narrations that push identity and hold triggered associations down your person if you're dealing with fools. So there's a Buddhist saying that an illusionist must know how to conjure illusions in order to dispel them. And when he's receiving illusions, he can discern that these are the illusions. So I may use at times, for example, occult symbols, let's say a uh, universal hexagram from Telemite. So that doesn't mean I'm a Telemite. I'm not a Telemite. I have rarely anything to do with them. I know some libers, I know the whole magical reform and all that because that is belonging to my knowledge. Now, I can use the symbol of an inverted pentagram. And does it make me a satanist? No. In fact, the pentagram was inverted by the Christians and it symbolizes in their universe huh? the five wounds of Christ and carnality. So, second, or second thing that I would like to elucidate is that when you have a large mind, you can pick certain small windows of frequencies of those narrations, knowledge, wisdom, and so on, to communicate. That is the, the goal, persuasion, communication, understanding, to reach a common goal. Now, if we are in front of an audience, we practice the, like in the rhetoric at Hellenium, but Cicero or one uh, Corax, perhaps, you never know, mm, the art of Benedestendi, the speaking well, the art of speaking well, rhetoric, techne, rhetoric the technique of rhetorics, persuasion, by as framed by Gorgias. So you speak to the audience in a manner that they may understand. So you know that there are certain laws, societal grounds, what they know about politics, society, information exchange, and you pick from the wealth of everything you know, only the small little bit, not to damage the people, not to destroy their minds, because if you have influence and power, then that is dangerous. Now, because I have no influence and no power, I can disseminate certain things I know in order to reach certain goals. Now, the whole idea behind it is that I want to inform certain people through philosophy, communication, and so on and so on. But I also deal with bigots, fundamental cretins that are panicky. They see a little pentagram or a universal hexagram or a person thinking that, oh, Jesus was a fucking irrelevant thing. It's, it's evil. Do you slaughter an actor for playing in a movie or at the theater because he plays the evil character? Well, I have such an approach to my art. I may be a fucked up uh, rich and sometimes a noble, strong, self-constituted person. However, I also like to use meta-rhetorics in order to introduce people to certain things. So I wanted to say that I'm as honest as possible. At the same time, I'm picking narrations. I'm very picky. And the books I wrote, the 12 books or so, five of them in English language, are delimited in an ethical manner in order to communicate certain things. Think meta-rhetorics. Now, the final question, the great charade is, did I plan all this speech right now as I'm speaking? Did I pre-plan it? Or do I look from a meta-rhetorical experience of creating abstracts in order to communicate something 
to you, my dear audience. All words are lies, I wrote once in one of my poems. Why? Because they cannot convey the absolute, the objective truth. It is barred from mortal comprehension. And the old Wittgensteinian idea about linguistics is that even if you have a juggernaut of a mind, bulldozer of a knowledge, and you communicate something to small people, petty people, they interpret it back into what they know. So you try to speak nicely to them, polite, everyday thing. This is my private space I can talk, expand, for example. And that's why I'm also highly selective about people that I deal with to exchange ideas, information on a certain standard cultural level. Because whenever I'm encountering fundamental bigots throwing the monkey feces at me, crying, Oh, Jesus, you are to Christ. I'm fed up. I'm fed up. Because we have a natural toleration levels for cretins. Now, metarhetorex, did I analyze it in my head, above, outside of myself, in order to put this into script? Yes. And sometimes I'm bashing those idiots because I like to. Not because I think it's wise, but because it's my sport. Thank you. <laughs>